This must-have accessory for the Apple TV really takes using the Apple TV to a whole new experience. And it's something that I personally cannot live without. Now, before I show you what this accessory is and how it's useful, there are five other must-have accessories in this video that I think you will enjoy and find useful to use with your Apple TV. We'll start off with a basic accessory and work our way up to the most unique accessory in this video. Starting off with basic accessory number one is an HDMI cord. If there's one thing that Apple is really good at, that's not given us basic accessories that we need to use their products included in the box. Like with the iPhone, no charging brick is included. And with the Apple TV, no HDMI cable is included in the box, which is what you need to connect the Apple TV to your TV. The good thing is that HDMI cords are all very inexpensive and they all work well. The vast majority of them support the high speed and high quality 4K, providing a nice and high quality image. It's also important to note that paying more for an HDMI cable does not provide better pictures quality. So buying an expensive HDMI cable won't offer richer colors or better sound than a cheap cord from Amazon. Any brand of a 4K HDMI cable will work perfectly fine with the Apple TV. I've personally been using the Amazon Basics brand that's about 10 bucks for years now and I would highly recommend it. The picture looks clear and high quality and I've not had any problems. But what I do have problems with, and you may as well, is actually using the Apple TV remote. And that leads us to must-have accessory number two, a remote case. When you're using the Apple TV remote, you may find it's a bit too slippery to hold and easily falls out of your hands into the couch cushions or on the floor. If you're like me, you may find the edges of the remote to be too sharp in your hands and kind of dig into my hands. Well, a remote case fixes all these issues. I'm using this one from Amazon that's about 10 bucks. That's made from a soft silicone material, which makes it very comfortable to hold in your hands and the edges are now smooth instead of sharp. Silicone is also durable, so it has stronger protection against drops and dings. And it has a lip on the top to protect the buttons and the trackpad when it's facing down. The case also has full access to the charging port and the Siri button is very easy to press. Now what really makes this a must have accessory is that it also has support for an Apple AirTag built in. If you're not familiar with AirTags, essentially it's an item tracker made by Apple that helps you keep track of your items and find them if they are lost, like your keys, your bags, or your wallets. Which is our next must have accessory. And there's a secret feature built into the AirTag that allows you to control your Apple TV with your AirTag. But more on that later on. So, with an AirTag built into the remote case, when the remote gets lost in between the couch cushions or in another room, you can easily find it using the Find My app. This is helpful during the day but not so much in the dark at night when you're looking for your remote. A glow-in-the-dark remote case comes in handy for this and Derek from Prince Spire Designs over on Etsy sent out their 3D AirTag Apple remote case for this video. When there's light, it's just a white case but in the dark, it shines a nice bright light that makes helping find your remote in the dark much easier. The AirTag goes in at the bottom and snaps into place and the remote slides in from the top and makes the remote about double in size. And if you're worried about dropping it, Derek makes a case that includes a lanyard to help you hold it as well. The charging port and Siri button is easily accessible too. Plus, there's these really cool designs on the back of the case that you can choose from when you're ordering. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check these out. Again, it's made from Print Spire Designs and they also make accessories for other smart devices like the HomePod Mini, Lutron, and more. Now speaking of AirTags, that's must-have accessory number three. And not only can the AirTag help you find your remote, but it can also help you control your Apple TV as well. There is a secret feature built into the AirTag that most people don't know about, and that is NFC. NFC is that same technology that's used with NFC tags, where you can put your phone up to a tag and it can control your smart home, play music, etc. AirTags support multiple phones, so if you have multiple people who use your Apple TV, then you can use one single AirTag to automatically switch the profiles on the Apple TV. So I'll scan the AirTag to get things how I like it, then if my wife wants to watch a movie or a show, then she can just scan the AirTag with her phone and change things to her liking. You program the AirTag just like NFC tags by using the free iPhone app Shortcuts and it's easy to set this up. Open the Shortcuts app, go to the automation tab at the bottom, tap the plus sign on the top right, choose create personal automation and scroll down to NFC and scan the AirTag. Give the tag a name and here's where you can choose your actions. Tap add action and in the search bar type in Apple TV. And here's all the actions that the Apple TV supports. So for this example, I'll choose switch user account, choose my Apple TV in the living room, and my name. 
If you wanted to control, let's say your lights, just add the control home action and choose a scene or the device that you want to control when you're watching a movie. Tap next and make sure to turn off ask before running so the shortcut will automatically run. And this is great, but there is a security pop-up that comes up every time you scan the AirTag. And tapping on this link takes you to the information about the AirTag itself, like the serial number and the owner's phone number. There's not a way to remove this message, unfortunately. These NFC automations don't interfere with being able to use the AirTag in the Find My App. The AirTag will still work in the Find My App whenever there are automations tied to it. AirTags cost about $30 a pop or about $100 for a pack of four. And if you thought this secret feature was cool, wait till you see what the bonus must have have accessory is at the end of this video that can do not only what an AirTag can do, but more. AirTags have been great for helping me find my lost keys, my lost headphones, and my wallet. Uh oh. Now where did I put my wallet at? Hmm, I can't remember. Oh, I have an AirTag in my wallet so I can find it with a Find My app. Do to do to do. Oh, there it is. Yep, my cards are still here. If you're like me and often lose your wallet, then you need a wallet that has an AirTag holder built in. And these extra wallets are the perfect option for this. Extra is sponsoring today's video and their wallets are unlike any other wallets on the market. Here I have their minimalist AirTag wallet in the Napa Black color that's made of high quality leather. There's a quick release button on the side of all their wallets that will fan out all your cards with one click, making it super quick and easy to grab the card you need right away. The AirTag fits perfectly in the back of the wallet and it makes finding the wallet with the Find My app a breeze. My favorite is their aluminum AirTag wallet, and it's this really dark, really good looking black that's even thinner than the leather wallet and can hold up to 15 cards. These wallets also have an RFID blocking layer, so you don't have to worry about somebody trying to skim your credit card details while you're out and about. Extra wallets are lightweight, thin, and small enough to easily fit in your pocket. Their wallets feel incredibly nice and premium and have been featured on ABC, Forbes, CNET, and many more. You can save up to 25% on your own wallet using offer code Adams Tech Life or go to shop.extra.com slash Adams Tech Life to automatically receive your discount. So if you're like me and always losing your stuff, especially your wallet, pick up an extra wallet today with support for an AirTag that makes it easier to use and harder to lose. And thanks to Extra for sponsoring today's video. Now, one of the more unique features about the Apple TV is that the Apple TV third gen or later can act as a HomeKit hub for all of your HomeKit smart devices. Now, a HomeKit hub is needed for remotely viewing the status of your HomeKit devices, controlling them remotely, and to run automations. And must have accessory number four is a smart home device. This can be anything from smart lights, smart cameras, door locks, switches, really anything that has the works with Apple HomeKit or soon to be Apple Home on the box of the products. You can control your devices and view your cameras from the Apple TV itself. Now to take this to the next level, the Apple TV can send you specific alerts about certain secure accessories while you're watching a show or a movie. You can be alerted with a small picture in picture pop up window on the screen when general motion has been detected or specific motion like when a person or package has been detected. Other secure devices like a security system or smart lock can alert you when it's been armed, disarmed, and unlocked or locked. I have made a video on some of my favorite budget HomeKit devices that are all under 100 bucks and some cool automations that you can create with them. I'll leave that down in the description below if you want to check those out. Now what's so great about the Apple TV is that it works extremely well with other Apple devices. And that leads us to must have accessory number number five, the one before the bonus accessory, and that is Bluetooth headphones. These are great for private listening like at night if you want to watch a movie but people in your home or apartment and you don't want to wake them up. Any brand of wireless headphones will work with the Apple TV but my personal choice is AirPods 2 because AirPods will give you features that you don't get with any other headphone brand. AirPods are connected to your iCloud account so they automatically connect to your Apple TV in seconds without having to reset or pair them each time. But the best feature about AirPods is that when you take a bud out the video pauses and when you put the bud back in the video continues to play. This is pretty slick. Now to take this even further, Apple allows you to connect up to two pairs of AirPods to one Apple TV at once. So let's say that you and a friend want to watch a show together, but other people in the home are asleep. Well, you can connect both pairs of AirPods for private listening with individual volume controls. AirPods cost a little bit more than the $100 budget in this video, but they often go on sale for less than $100. Bucks. But again, you can go with any brand of wireless headphones. Personally, this is my second most used accessory for the the Apple TV, it's really changed how I consume content. Nothing has changed the way that I use my Apple TV quite like this next bonus accessory, 
which is the HomePod mini. You've probably heard of the HomePod mini and the OG HomePod. It's Apple's smart speaker and can be used to ask the weather, play music and control your smart home and more. Not only is it a hub for the HomeKit ecosystem, but it can also allow you to control your Apple TV hands-free. You can ask Siri to open up a specific app like Netflix, though it can't open up a specific show yet. Control playback, like play, pause, skip, and go back. Or if you can't understand what somebody just said, just ask Siri, what do they say? And she'll rewind the show or our movie back about 10 to 15 seconds or so and turn on captions so you can hear and see what they said. HomePods can also be used as speakers for your Apple TV as well. Two of the minis or two of the OG HomePods can be paired together and connect to your Apple TV wirelessly and there's virtually no latency. So you could use this instead of using a soundbar. The HomePod mini are $99 and come in a variety of colors and is truly an Apple accessory I cannot live without. What accessories do you use with your Apple TV? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Here are 10 hidden features of the Apple TV and here are must-have accessories for the HomePod mini. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.